once upon a time, there lived two sisters, Bimbo and Lara. They were so beautiful and they came from a very respected home. Their mother was a trader and they had no father. Lara would join her mother in the market to sell, while Bimbo would stay at home, lazing around and gossiping with her friends. Lara tried several times to change her sister, but Bimbo wanted to waste her time doing nothing. Lara did all she could to get a better life for her family. She provided everything Bimbo ever wanted. One day, a woman named Madame Shekinat came to their house and told Lara's mother about a job opportunity abroad and how she would like to take Lara overseas for the job. Lara was so happy. At last, a high paying job. Lara told Madame Shekinant that she was interested in the offer. Her mother was skeptical at first but later agreed for Lara to go as it would also help her fund her education. Bimbo was so angry and jealous for she wanted to be the one to go with Madame Shekinat. Not long, it was time for Lara to travel overseas. She told Bimbo to take care of their mother and also promised to be sending them money, especially for their mother's medications, before she left with Madame Shekinat. Lara's mother was happy that at last the family story was about to change. Bimbo was still angry that it wasn't her that got to travel. But unknown to them, Madame Shekinant was a human trafficker. She had taken Lara and some other girls to a far place in the northern part of the country to be trafficked. When Lara found out who Madame Shekinant was, she tried to escape, but the entire place was guarded by people that worked for Madame Shekinant. She weeped because she realized that her freedom was gone. Madame Shekinant made their lives so difficult. They would walk day and night with little or no food to eat. Whenever Lara and the other girls wanted to speak with their families, they were constantly warned not to tell them where they were and what they do. If not, they would be killed. And so, Lara's family thought that Lara was doing well abroad and never knew the situation she was in. Lara would work day and night for Madame Shekinat. But she would get pennies and sometimes nothing. Lara would gather everything and send to her family through Madame Shekinat, as that was the only option she had. She tried to escape with some other girls severally, but she never succeeded. Each time she was caught, Madame Shekinant would order her boys to beat her and she would be left with bruises. This went on for a very long time. Whenever Lara spoke to her sister, she would tell her what to invest the money on. Bimbo was her only friend and trusted ally since their mother passed. 
she was sending all her money to her to invest and also some part for Bimbo's upkeep. Lara did this so that whenever she manages to escape or work for the years Madame Shekinat demanded, she will have something to start life with and not just be left empty-handed. Lara worked for Madame Shekinat for 10 good years and Madame Shekinat finally gave her her freedom. As soon as she got out, she contacted her sister Bimbo. Bimbo was shocked and unhappy at the same time. Lara asked for her address and she began to act strange. She came up with one excuse after another, saying she was not in town at the moment. Lara waited for her sister for weeks till one day she decided to find her herself. She knew Bimbo was in Abeokuta as she was the one paying for her house rent. Lara asked about her for days till someone who knew Bimbo showed her her address. When she got to the address, it was a very big and beautiful house. She was surprised because the rent money she was sending to Bimbo could not obviously rent that kind of house. When Bimbo saw Lara, she started behaving strange. She tried for Lara not to enter the house, but a man came out and interrupted her. He asked Bimbo who Lara was, and Bimbo told him that she was a distant cousin. Lara was shocked, but she did not say anything to the man except greetings. Bimbo asked Lara to meet her at a close-by restaurant later that day, and Lara left. Lara made some inquiries and discovered that the man was Bimbo's husband and they also had a child together. Lara was surprised because Bimbo never told her about her new family. When they met, Lara confronted Bimbo and asked her why she denied her in front of her husband. Bimbo came up with lies and excuses. Lara overlooked everything Bimbo was saying and asked her about her family, where she buried their mother and also where she invested her money. Bimbo told Lara that she invested the money on some goods but the container sank in the ocean, which was a terrible lie. Lara was shocked and she started to cry. She asked Bimbo why she never told her and Bimbo said nothing. Lara started reflecting on everything and her experience with Madame Shekinat and also her wasted years. She asked Bimbo to give her some money as she was left with nothing. But Bimbo told her that she had no money and that her money was tied down on some businesses. Lara went into depression and days later, she attempted to take her life. But someone saved her and also give her shelter. Since the day Bimbo's husband saw Lara, he knew something was wrong. So, he started asking about her. This went on for months till someone who knew them from childhood told him everything. He was shocked and so 
he decided to ask his wife about Lara for the second time. And Bimbo told him that she was a distant cousin and no one important. Bimbo's husband went to look for Lara and asked her everything that had happened. And Lara told him everything. He helped launch an investigation on Madame Shakinat and her cohort, and they were brought to book. He also secretly gave Lara some money to start up a business. Lara thanked him for his generosity and kindness. Bimbo's husband later discovered that Bimbo was more wicked than he thought she was. She had spent Lara's money on her numerous partners, which included married men. If she can do this to her own flesh and blood, who am I that she can't betray? He said to himself. He sent Bimbo packing, for they were only married traditionally, and he was the owner of all the properties. Not too long, Bimbo squandered the money that was with her and she had no other choice than to go into the streets and face the hard life for there was no one to help her. This is the end of this story. Thank you for listening to this story. Please subscribe, like, comment and share this video. And please do not skip the ads on this channel as it will be your way of supporting us. We love and appreciate you. Bye.